we are going to jump straight into the topics of discussion today, starting with the release of Unraid 7 Beta 1. It is finally available for everyone to take a look at because the Beta 1 is public, and you yourself can download it and check it out if you so wish. Some of the things you can expect to see immediately right off the bat is the brand new UI on the dashboard page, which I personally like a lot because you can customize it and change things around to better fit the web UI itself. Some more important things like the system process activity you can easily see by bringing that to the top of the page and even information about the system, things like RAM, the Docker image size, and other little metrics like that. Speaking of releases, there's been a new vulnerability discovered with OpenSSH that affects a multitude of versions of OpenSSH. All the way up to 9.8p1 is my understanding, and there are some versions in between there that are not affected. This will also affect anyone who downloads the Unraid 7 Public Beta 1 operating system because that version of the operating system is actually 9.7 something, and that specific version has the vulnerability into it. So what can you do in the meantime? Well, quite simply, the easiest way is to just not open SSH to the internet. That means keeping that port closed, port 22, and or simply not port forwarding any port to SSH in the meantime. Or you can go into the Unraid operating system itself and disable SSH altogether, and you should still have web UI access to the server, so nothing should truly be affected. On the subject of tools, Lime Technology, the creators of Unraid for anyone who didn't know, is hiring a full stack developer. This is a full-time, fully remote position that is currently available today for anyone who thinks they have the skills to meet the job. Some of the responsibilities include design, develop, and maintain robust GraphQL APIs to support the functionality of Unraid OS software, collaborate with cross-functional teams to understand the requirements and translate them into technical specifications, blah, 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 troubleshoot and debug issues to ensure smooth operation. Of course, the biggest requirement, which isn't listed, is to be able to pull off the sweet look of a Hawaiian t-shirt. And that is actually a big deal and a real requirement that they need to include on their requirements list. Moving on. Other requirements are proven experience with full stack developer with a focus on API development, proficiency in TypeScript, JavaScript, Node.js, proficiency or ability to learn PHP, familiarity with Linux, of course, and the ability to bash script. And there's a whole boatload of other requirements in there. And if you think that you meet any of these skill sets or requirements that are posted, be sure to actually apply on Unraid's website to help get yourself a job. And the benefits are actually quite competitive as well. So you may be wanting to take a shot that, at this even if you only meet 80% of the requirements or 80% of the skills. Some of these benefits are like a 6% 401k, annual profit sharing, annual raises, annual bonuses, generous flexible time off policy, plus nine paid holidays, 100% medical coverage for you, 50% coverage for dependents, 100% dental and vision coverage for you and your dependents. These benefits are actually better than <coughs> my benefits at my daytime job. That's too bad I don't have any of these skills or I might apply for it myself. Don't tell anyone I said that. Our boy Ed from Across the Pond talks to Major Nelson, who was involved in the original Xbox project and gives us insight onto things like Xbox Live. You seem to know a lot about this stuff, would you come join us? Now, you have to remember it. This is before Spotify, before mm -hmm. iTunes, before everything. Um, so it was one of the very first streaming uh, services online. So I helped launch that. Wow, that's amazing. Some of my best memories in gaming are because of Xbox Live, or more actually because of something called Xbox Connect that allowed us to create a network across the internet and I could play Halo 1 on the internet with my friends through a pseudo LAN network. And again, some of my best memories came from that. So we can find out more information through that YouTube video on the Uncast Show where Ed interviews Major Nelson. So be sure to check it out because it's actually pretty interesting. Keeping in line with interesting things, Tech Docs takes us through his DIY NAS build and uses Unraid as a part of this build. And it's a pretty interesting video all the way through. Definitely be sure to go give that a watch if you're looking to consume more Unraid content. Well, I believe we've done a decent job of summing up everything in the newsletter. Of course, if you want more details, you can always refer to the newsletter itself. And I wanna say thank you to all the people who let me know in the previous video by liking it and leaving comments that you do enjoy content like this. 
and we would probably continue to make it anyway. But nonetheless, at least I know that you enjoy it. So with all that being said, I want to say thanks to each and every one of you for watching, and we will see you on the next Unraid Digest show. Peace!